Good evening, and welcome to this edition of the Amateur Telescope Makers Workshop. My name is Francis O'Reilly, and I'll be your host this evening. The wonders of building a pencil stone tool as a substrate for a pitch lap for a 7-inch optical flat project that I've been working on. Together with Fortunato the Contaminator, I'll show you how to make a dental stone tool that will hold your pitch lap so that you can polish without using it as a tool. First thing we should discuss are the tools that are necessary to engage in this process. There are a number of things that I want to have. I have a good solid table that I work on. I have a plywood, three-quarter inch birch plywood, a piece of uh, plywood that uh, is about 15 by 15 inches in diameter, uh, in uh, measurement. I have a level to make sure that the plywood is level. I have a scale so that I can measure out the proper amount of dental stone. I have Vaseline. I have some tape, otherwise known as scotch tape. I have some paper towels, turpentine. Something you don't see too often anymore, wax paper, which I like to use. A measuring cup. A bowl in which I can mix my dental stone. I have a box of dental stone, and I have an electric oven that I purchased from the Goodwill store for about six dollars. In addition, I have one of my blanks that has been polished and I'm going to be using, uh, that has rather been fine ground, and I'm going to be using uh, to polish, I'm going to polish, I'm going to be using this as an, as an initial substrate. I also have two cans of cat food and a bowl for Fortunato the Contaminator. Why do I need cat food right now? This, uh, well, about two weeks ago my wife was making pancakes for us for breakfast. There was some batter from the pancakes left over after breakfast and she had left it on the stove. I came back in the kitchen to clean up about 20 minutes later and noticed that Fortunato and her sister, the Floof, were helping themselves to the pancake batter. Dental stone looks a lot like pancake batter and I'm afraid the cats will eat the dental stone if I leave it out at all. Dental stone is really, really rough stuff. I have a five gallon Home Depot bucket of water. And one thing I don't ever want to do is I don't ever want to get dental stone anywhere near a drain. Because this stuff, one, doesn't have to be dry to set, it will just set. When it sets, unless you're skilled in the science of using high explosives, you are never going to clean out your plumbing. You'll just have to replace it. And if you can do that to plumbing, you can only imagine how tight it's going to plug up your cat if your cat starts to eat it. Fortunato is here right now, and I'm going to give her a little can of cat food just to keep her busy. Little Frisky's work just fine. Fortunato. She'll smell it in a minute and she'll come to eat it. Now there are a number of steps that we have to take to get the uh, dental stone tool ready to pour. I've made myself a little dam. This dam is just made out of poster board, relatively thick poster board and it's going to go around the circumference of the substrate 
and I'm going to use it as a form within which I can pour. Here you go, Fortunato. Within which I can pour the dental stone and it can set up. However, dental stone will adhere to my Pyrex blank and I really don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Vaseline first and I'm going to liberally spread it on top of my blank. I'll be able to clean it off later. Not worried about that at all. I'll clean it off with acetone once I'm done pouring the dental stone. But for right now I want this blank to be well covered and actually I call it Vaseline, that's a brand name, petroleum jelly, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I bought the cheapest petroleum jelly I could find last night at the A&P in Brewster get a little around the edges now you're going to say is that going to leave uh, a pattern on the top of the dental stone when I pour it and the answer to that question is yes it will absolutely however once you pour the dental stone you will be able to sand it down beam it down and you'll be okay you won't, really won't have a problem with that and I will be able to clean it off completely off the tool so the first step I'm taking is to put petroleum jelly all over my Pyrex blank. Fortunately I have some paper towels. Clean the petroleum jelly off my fingers. Water really doesn't do too much for it. It's not soluble in water. Now I'm going to take my wax paper. Is this overkill? Yeah it is. But I had an incident once with dental stone. And I'm going to wrap the wax paper over the blank, around the blank. And it will adhere pretty well with the petroleum jelly. But in case I get a hole in the wax paper, I want that petroleum jelly there just so that it doesn't adhere, the dental stone doesn't adhere to the glass and I have an incident and I have to end up destroying the dental stone. Why do I use dental stone instead, instead of uh, <coughs> glass as a substrate? Dental stone is relatively inexpensive, glass is not. Uh, dental stone tools are easy to make. Uh, they don't chip. If they do chip, uh, if something happens with them, you can always make another one. Glass I prefer to use for telescopes. 